Why sit in the stands when you come and watch the Capital City Go Go play? Well, you could pay just $100 to fill at home on these comfy couches at the Capital City Go Go Courtside Lounge. Giving back to your local community this holiday season doesn't have to consist of your traditional food and clothes donation drive. And their first Four out of seven games, opponents have been able to score 120 points or more. And what makes matters worse, in games where opponents have been able to reach that 120-point margin or better, the Washington Wizards have lost. If the goal is to win a WCAC championship come November, then it starts here in September on a hot afternoon for the DeMatha Stags as they face nationally ranked St. Ignatius out of Cleveland, Ohio. how big high school basketball has become. The annual National High School Hoops Festival at DeMatha Catholic is considered one of the greatest high school basketball tournaments in the country. The tournament featured 19 teams and over 20 players who are considered top prospects in their class. Uh, my name is Doug McDaniel uh, and I'm in class of 2022. It's Todd, Michigan basketball. Dominguez Stevens, C.N. Hall commit. One might ask, how has high school basketball been able to grow so rapidly? Well, now with uh, social media, you know, it's skyrocketing. You know, like when I was playing, you know, all we had was newspapers. So if you made like the, I would say, um, Sports Illustrator, then you were doing big things. If you uh, had your name printed up in uh, USA Today, you were doing big things. But now with social media, like everyone has access to be able to log in and see and pull up all this talent that's all across America. If you couldn't get in on the fun and physically come to watch the National High School Hoops Festival, Monumental Sports Network had those who couldn't be in attendance covered. All games in the tournament were live streamed and you can even go back and watch the games on demand. Just within the last couple of years, a number of Sports Center top 10 plays on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. So many highlights for these players that they can keep and they can share with their friends and family and potential schools that are recruiting them. So the broadcast itself is just showcasing the unbelievable talent that's already on display from each of these teams and each of these players. And as for the players who compete, they also agree that this tournament is one of a kind. It's fun. Um, you, you playing in front of a sold out crowd in your hometown. So, I mean, every time you make a shot, they're on your side, they cheering loud. So it's fun. I think this is the best, uh, best showcase there is. But nothing compares to this Who Fest. I think it's the best one out there. Tykira Carter, DMVSports1.com. Giving back to your local community this holiday season doesn't have to consist of your traditional food and clothes donation drive. The Santa Bowl is a charity flag football tournament that the DC Frey Foundation created in 2014. Here at the Santa Bowl, we encourage all of our teams to donate a lot of goods, whether it's food or uh, paper towels, toilet paper, to provide to all these families every year. The team that donates the most items wins a prize. But for the participants, the biggest prize by far is knowing that all proceeds are donated to Bridges to Independence, a charity that strives to leave individuals and families out of homelessness and into stable independent futures. Uh, Bridges Independence is a huge thing for Arlington. Knowing that we have a, even like the smallest part of that is huge. I'm sure every little family that gets anything when they're in the time of the need uh, is super thankful. And it's just a pleasure to help out. DC Frey's done a pretty good job with the tournament. I mean, they've grown it every year. We get to do it for a great cause. Uh, and we got a great year this year. Last year it was raining, so we have some beautiful weather this year. And everybody's out here just to have a good time and uh, to get some good competition in there. One competition that Cordell Page wants everyone to remember is that the giving does not have to stop when the teams part ways from Long Bridge Park. As a culture, especially in the U.S., we get super hype about giving during the holiday season. Then we kind of fall off afterwards. So I think it's really important for every community to kind of keep that momentum going throughout the full year, not just kind of pile it on at the last two months of the year. Because there are people who need a little bit of extra all year round that often, not unfortunately, we kind of forget about coming into the holiday season. From Long Bridge Park in Arlington, Virginia, I'm Tykira Carter.